Are you struggling with spiritual warfare? Are you undergoing warfare, drama, trauma, attacks in your life? Uh, tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, literally seven hours from now, I'm going to be on the Zoom webinar and I'm going to be on the Zoom webinar and uh, I'm going to teach you how to overcome destiny blockers, overcome secret enemies, how to overcome uh, the enemy that is trying to attack you in your life. So that's going to be seven hours from now. We, we're going to have hundreds of people from all around the world. So it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be awesome. Amen. So that is going to be uh, on the Zoom webinar tonight, but you must register. Amen, Prophet Luis. Can't wait to see you and Marcella. And Lord willing, your ninth baby. Amen. Uh, but uh, it's totally free, but all you have to do is register. So go ahead and join and be a part of the Glory Bam fam. And you will receive in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you're going to join and if I'm going to see you, I want you to comment, I'm joining. All right, praise God. I want you to comment, I'm joining. Amen. Oklahoma. Hallelujah. Yes. Hello, Rue de Port Joe, Joe Berg. All right, come on, somebody. I'm telling you, it's like I haven't stopped working out. <laughs> it's like I'm in a sauna here. Madagascar. I've been seeing Madagascar a lot too, which is very encouraging. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Prosperity, DC. Studio, Normo A. Lindewe, amen, amen. Hi there, Dana. Ashley, miss you and your family. All right. Nagaya, no. Panama City, Florida in the house. Awesome. Lord willing, I'll be in Florida by the end of the year. Torrington, Wyoming. Awesome, awesome. Well, praise God, friends. Good afternoon. Hello there. Well, if you're with me today, I want to say amen. Today, I want to talk about... Uh, the stump that will live again. The stump that will live again. And I believe even today and as we're one month away from Rosh Hashanah, I believe there's some dead things that God wants to resurrect. There are some dead things that the Lord wants to resurrect. Uh, not only does he want to resurrect some dead things, but there are some dead things that need to remain dead. There are some things that need to remain buried. Amen. And there are some things that we just need to leave in the past. But I believe there's some dead things in your life, in your country, in your region, that the Lord wants to resurrect and bring back to life. Can I get an amen? You see what happened with the Maui fires, where there's all these ashes. Truly, the Bible is clear that he will turn beauty from ashes. So where there's ashes, he will turn it to beauty. And I believe that we're in a season right now where God is breathing resurrection power, breathing resurrection fire, and there's life abundance, there's spirit of life and resurrection that's coming upon you, where the Lord wants to not only encourage you, but he wants to raise you up from your pit. Now, earlier today, as I was praying in the spirit, hello from Belize, I went to Belize once, that was a beautiful country. Earlier today, as I was praying, I saw a vision of a stump. And what is a stump? A stump is a piece of the tree, of course, that remains in the ground after the tree has been cut. Now, let me ask you, have you felt like life has been cut short from your spirit? Have you felt like the enemies tried to cut your life? Have you felt like your destiny, your calling, your vision? Your dream? Have you felt like certain things you were believing for have been cut short? Well, I want to encourage you and prophesy that the stump is going to raise up and resurrect again. So listen, people of God, as we're about to go into the word, and as I continue to minister and bring this prophetic word, I want you to give us some hearts and likes, share this on your wall, help me to build up the room and the algorithm, tag somebody, amen, tag somebody. I barely see any of my open heavens, bam fam, but go ahead and tag somebody, share this on your wall, on your broadcast, because one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Ben Lim, is here in the house. Amen, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and like I said tonight, 
literally seven hours from now, we are going on a live Zoom with hundreds of people from around the world. And we're gonna talk about effective spiritual warfare. Can I get an amen? Effective spiritual warfare. So once again, today, as I was in prayer, I saw a vision of a stump. Now, this is going to be a prolific word. So are you ready to receive? Are you ready to grab a hold of what the man of God is about to release and share of your life? Amen. So as I was in prayer, I saw a vision of a stump. And of course, the Lord reminded me of this word in Isaiah 11, verse 1. So Isaiah 11, verse 1, praise God. There shall come forth from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. All right, I'm going to read that again. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. Someone say amen. Somebody say preach Dr. Ben. Now, as I was in prayer, I saw a vision of a tree stump. Now, what is a tree stump? Imagine a beautiful, big, healthy tree, and all of a sudden somebody comes and chops it down. They take a big saw or a big ax or some type of uh, heavy machinery, and they saw it into pieces, they chop it down. So imagine a big, beautiful tree, which can stand for your life, which can stand for your ministry, which can stand for your destiny. You stand for a tree. Amen. You stand for an oak of righteousness. You stand for a tree of righteousness, a tree of life. So imagine a big, beautiful tree that's growing and growing and growing. And all of a sudden, somebody comes, the enemy comes and chops it and chops suey and cuts it. Ta -ta 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 -ta, and begins to sashimi, cut it into pieces. All right. But imagine there's a stump. Now, what is a stump? Now, a stump is a piece or a part of the tree. Now the stump, of course, still has the roots in the ground, but the stump is not necessarily alive, okay? Uh, the stump has been cut, right? The stump has been cut. So here in Isaiah 11 verse one, this is talking about the stump of Jesse. Now, what is the stump of Jesse? Of course, Jesse was the father of King David. All right, Jesse was the father of David. David, the son of Jesse. So the Jesse stands for the stump that was cut short. So this stands for the lineage of David that was cut short. Why? Because of course, Solomon and of course, his sons continued to battle in the kingdom. Who here knows that whenever there's spoils or plunder or riches, Many times there's going to be division or the spirit of division will try to creep in through the enemy within a family or within a conglomerate or within a community. Does that make sense? So here, the legacy of Jesse, the prophetic word about David and the family was brewing and blooming. And David had the greatest kingdom that the whole world and history has ever seen before. And then suddenly, because of sin, hear me now, because of sin, now there is a split, there is a division, and the growing tree gets cut. And now there is a remaining stump. If you're hearing me today, I want you to give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. There's a remaining stump. Now, have you ever felt like you are a short stump? Now, there's nothing too majestic about a stump, right? It's not a big, beautiful, tall tree. It's not a tall, strong tree with branches, with leaves, with fruits, birds and different animals can come and chirp and remain in that place. And, and, this, and a big, beautiful tree has shelter and has shade and has substance, has food for all those around them. Are you following me today? But a stump is just a piece of what remains. I'm going somewhere. A stump is a small little portion of what used to be. Some of you are feeling like you're just a small part of what you used to be. But let me tell you, beloved, there's so much more for you than what you've seen and experienced before. God has so much more for your future than what you've experienced in your past. There's so much more in the days to come and you're somewhere in the future and you look much better than you do right now. Amen. So a stump is a remaining part. 
It could almost be like a laughing stock. It could almost be uh, like a joke, like a sarcastic, uh, <clears throat> like a sarcastic joke. Now, as the Lord showed me this vision about a stump, and as I'm ministering this word to you today, I felt like the Lord said, many of you feel like a stump. Many of you feel like you've been cut in half or cut into pieces. Many of you, you've been going and going and growing and growing, and you felt like, man, you were, you're branching out, you were expanding, the Lord was blessing you and increasing you, and then suddenly something happened or something came and cut your life, your destiny short. If I'm talking to you, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes. You see, the Bible here says, there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse. Some would say prophesy. You see... From the stump, though it feels small, little, ugly, and low, though the stump is just a small portion, just a small piece of what used to be, though the stump is low to the ground, from the stump came life, a shoot. Come on, somebody. Are you ready to shoot forward? Are you ready to shoot up? Oh, I feel like I'm about to preach today. From the remaining stump, from the remnant, from the 12, from Gideon's 300, there'll be a great army and a great shift. Someone would say amen. From the stump, listen, from the little that has or remains, from the little that feels like has been left behind. You might feel small. You might feel insignificant. You might feel like, you know what? All I have is five loaves and two fish. But it's always from the little and the insignificant that the Lord's going to do something great and something magnificent. Can I get an amen? And from the stump, you will shoot forth. There was a shoot that came forth. Now, what is a shoot? A shoot is like a sprout. A shoot is like a, a little green plant, a little green stem that shoots up. Now, God is saying new life. Hear me now. God is saying new life is going to come forth from what remains. You felt like you were done. You felt like you weren't good enough. You felt like you wanted to throw in the towel. But new life is going to come from what remains. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I'm trying to give you some prophetic word and prophetic meat right now. And I need the room to be amped up and to be in unison for me to fully release the gravity of this word today in Jesus' name. Listen, some of you feel like you have a stump. You've been cut, cut short, cut in half. The enemy tried to cut your destiny, amen. But God, is about to shoot forth new life. I prophesy from the stump of your life, from the stump of your ministry, of your business, of your finances, from the stump of where you are today, the Lord is going to shoot up new life, new offspring, new fruit, and new glory in Jesus' name. Now I want you to hear this. And a branch continues on Isaiah 11 verse 1. And a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. Come on, someone say hallelujah. A branch from his roots will bear fruit. I feel the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Shanama. A branch from his roots will bear fruit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today I'm talking about uprooting, but as well resurrection power. Because you see, in this season, in this month, the Lord is going to uproot. The Lord is going to make room. Stop allowing dead things, dead prophets, false prophets. Stop allowing old things to occupy space, room, and air in your life. Are you hearing me today? Stop allowing the dead skeletons to occupy space in your mind. You are a new creation. Be free in Jesus' name. Sharabata. So here, Isaiah 11, now verse 2, it talks about the seven spirits of God. You need to hear this. From the stump of Jesse. Now, this is talking about the father of King David. From the stump of Jesse shall come forth a shoot, and a branch from his root shall bear fruit. My goodness. 
a branch from his root shall bear fruit. So literally, you're going to go from nothing to something. From zero to hero. Literally, you will go from stump to breakthrough. You will go from stumpy to blessing. Are you ready to increase? Are you ready to be fruitful and to expand and to break barriers and molds in the name of Jesus? But you see, Isaiah 11 verse 2, the next passage talks about the seven spirits of God. Come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for this. Shout about someone say, preach Dr. Ben. Y'all ain't ready for this. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Wait, wait, wait. So you're trying to tell me that from a stump, from a has been, from a, I thought you were expired. I thought you should be retired. You're too old. You're too ugly. You're too this. You're too that. From a stump that was cut short. Come on. From a stump that was cut short. Not only will there be a shoot of new life. Not only will there be a branch that will bear fruit. But from the stump that was cut short. From that stump, there's going to be the seven spirits of God. What? You need to hear me right now. I, I pray the Lord will increase your spirit, man, to catch this right now. And Jesus said, from the stump will come the seven spirits of God. From the stump of Jesse will come the menorah of God. The lampstand of God. Come on, somebody. Someone say, preach, talk to Ben. You have not preached your greatest message yet. You have not encountered your greatest encounter yet. You have not seen your greatest vision yet. Come on, God is not done with you from the stump will come the seven spirits of god wisdom understanding counsel might knowledge and the fear of the lord and the spirit of the sovereign lord my goodness do you know what that means that means that the manifestation of the holy spirit is going to come forth from what seems dead Seven spirits of God, which stand for perfection, for number seven, completion. From the stump will come a finishing anointing, will come the lampstand of God's glory. From the stump will come wisdom. Come on, have you ever felt like a stump? Have you ever felt like the devil, the enemy, the government, these, these, uh, Christian mafia groups, these circles, these elders, these bigots and hypocrites. These people are trying to block you and get in the way. These destiny blockers, these managers that are moving in control and manipulation. Have you ever felt like these people tried to cut you short so that you will be a stump? But from the stump, come on somebody, from the stump will have a shoot. And from the stump, there will be a branch that will bear fruit. And you know what? There's going to be seven spirits of God. Seven manifestations. There's going to be a completion. There's going to be a resurrection. There's going to be a finishing. And there's going to be a glory that is coming in your life. In Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Now, let me ask you again. Have you felt like something is trying to cut your life short? It's called a premature death assignment. Have you felt like something is trying to cut your life? Something has tried to cut your destiny. You feel like somebody punched you in the gut, in the stomach, and you got the wind knocked out of your windpipes, of your belly. Have you felt like as you were going around and through 2023, you feel like you are a stump? Well, I have good news for you, friends. From the stump, there will be seven spirits of God. The menorah of God. You're not done yet. God's not done with you yet. Come on. God is not done with you yet. You are not done yet. God hasn't even started. 
There's going to be a finishing anointing. He who began a good work in you, he will bring it to completion. He will bring it to perfection. He will bring it from one to seven. Come on, you feel like a zero, but he will turn you into a hero. From your ashes, there will be beauty. From your mourning, there will be gladness. From your sadness, there will be joy. From the death, there will be resurrection. Uh, from the bottom, you will go up. From the pit, you'll go into the palace. From broke, you will break through. From poverty, you will prosper in the name of Jesus. From stump, you will go into seven spirits of God. Somebody shout hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes. This stands for a comeback. And I've been talking a good bit about the comeback anointing. That literally symbolizes my life. Who I am, my life, it stands for the underdog coming back. I've always been the underdog. And no, of course, I'm not a dog, but it's just a saying that I've always been the person in these circles in life in general that most people will look down upon. They will doubt. They will try to hinder. Ha <laughs> ha. But you know what? God is my father and the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. The stump is going to manifest seven branches of God, seven spirits of God. Are you ready to receive this word today? Amen. Listen, I believe in the next month, there's going to be a great comeback in your life, a great comeback in your life in the next month. Get ready for the stump that was cut in half, cut into, cut in pieces, that was cut. Booyaka, booyaka. That was chaya. Get ready for the stump to grow and to manifest because God is not done with your life yet. If you receive this word today, I want you to say amen. Now listen, in the next month, I believe God is making room. God is making room for you. The Lord is beginning to make room for you. Amen. What does that mean? That means number one, there is going to be an uprooting taking place. I want to say uproot. Get ready for God to uproot people in your life. Evil, sinful, unjust seeds, witchcraft seeds, seeds of fear, of doubt, of manipulation. God is going to begin to make room. Why? Because as you shoot up, as you grow from the stump, you're going to need some space. You're going to need some room. So there is an uprooting anointing that has taken place. And I sense the Lord is saying he is beginning to uproot the tares from the wheat. Remember Jesus's passage. He says, do not uproot the tares too quickly. Because if you do so, you will also uproot the wheat. But there is an appointed time. Come on, somebody. There is an appointed time to uproot. Amen. And let me just get that verse here. Glory be to God. Well, you see that in Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 to 8. Shatarabatayaba. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 13, verse 30. If you're with me today, say amen. Matthew 13, verse 30. Let them both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. So there is a proper appointed time for the uprooting of the Lord. And I believe we are in that time right now where God is beginning to uproot people, demonic ideas, demonic seeds. God is beginning to uproot corrupt government political leaders. God is beginning to uproot strongholds from your life, from South Africa. I want to prophesy to South Africa right now. God is beginning to uproot demonic strongholds of ideologies that terrorists spirit out of South Africa in Jesus name. So there is an uprooting taking place. So I believe in the next month, there is going to be an uprooting. What does that mean? That means God's going to deal with the root issues. Here's the thing about Christianity. A lot of times Christians, we only deal with the fruit, not the root. 
We deal with the outward manifestation, not the inward soul tie or the inward binding of the spirit. Does that make sense? And we need to uproot. And I believe the Lord is going to uproot in Jesus' name. You know, those things that were difficult to break, those addictions, those mindsets, those soul ties. God is going to uproot, pull out all of the roots from the ground. All right. Number two, I believe the second thing God's going to do, my goodness, in the next month is he is going to sow and plant new seeds. Sow and plant new seeds. New seeds of visions, dreams, hope, life. The Lord is beginning to sow. Remember, you see the parable of the kingdom. The parable of the kingdom is like a sower. He began to sow the seeds, throw the seeds. There's going to be new opportunities for you. As you make room and as you clean your house, as the Lord cleanses the house of God, as there is an uprooting of your heart, an uprooting of your soul, an uprooting of your inner circle, as there is an uprooting of evil thoughts, bad habits, now there is new space for the Lord to sow and to plant new seeds. Do you receive it? Amen. The Lord is beginning to sow and plant new destiny scrolls new seeds, new seeds of life, new vision, new dream, new anointings, new opportunities, new relations. My goodness. Somebody pray with me in Jesus name. Number three. Oh, this is going to be fun. Number three, there are going to be transplants. Now, what is a transplant? Now, if you gain a heart transplant, that means that it's not a brand new heart, but it's a heart that has been taken from someone else's body, right? Heart transplant, kidney transplant. A transplant means that it belonged to somebody else, but maybe they donated it, they gave it, or you are taking it from elsewhere. So I want you to hear this. To sow and to plant and to grow means it takes time for it to go from zero to hero, from zero to 100. But a transplant means that it's already mature or fully grown to 100 and you directly take that full grown mature blessing and you take it and you put it into your life. Does that make sense, my friends? God is beginning to transplant his blessings into your life. It's not going to take five, 10 years for you to grow it. It's going to take maybe five days for your body to get familiar with the new transplant heart and for you to connect and for the blood to flow in Jesus name. That's right. It's the wealth transference. It's a transference of the wealth of the wicked to the righteous. Amen. So number three, there's going to be transplants. Did you know, especially in America, Especially in America, that's right, Prophet Zalana, you're correct. In the United States, we are seeing many new conversions unto Christ. However, most of the majority are transplants from other churches, right? So we're, we are seeing many new converts in the United States. Of course, it's not like Africa or Pakistan, where a lot of these countries have never received the gospel or do not have the presence of a local church anywhere or a Bible in their local language, etc., etc. But in the United States, we have many transplants. What does that mean? People jump from church to church. Does that make sense? So in this season, you're going to experience transplant blessings, transplant breakthroughs. Suddenly, you are going to receive a transplant of glory that's coming into your life. Now, let me give another example. Of course, the Biden administration is a disgrace and it is the worst presidential, uh, worst presidential term that we've seen probably in the whole history of the United States. President Biden needs to repent. President Biden is a puppet of the deep state. He is possessed 
by lying spirits, evil spirits. Uh, Biden is not even a president. He's a fraud. All right. He's a liar and he's despicable. He is a baby killer. All right. Uh, but you see, as Biden and this false administration lifted up the walls right now, there's a transplant of thousands and hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants coming into this country. I think there's about 150 different nationalities, not just Mexicans, not just people from south of our border. There's over a hundred Chinese, there's Haitian, there's over 150 different nationalities that they recorded in one day. This is a transplant of illegal immigrants. Are you hearing me? A full grown mob or group of, of people coming in. It's, it's called a transplant. So there is a transplant taking place. And I believe in the next month, as God uproots, number two, as God sows and plants, number three, get ready for transplants. Sorry, I feel like there's mosquitoes around my feet. Die, devil, in Jesus' name. These mozzies love my sweet Korean blood. Number three, there will be transplants. Transplants. Number four, there's going to be supernatural growth. Now, I've preached this recently about the quantum leap. And there's something called growth spurts, right? Now, when you go through puberty as a teenager, every single human being, we experience growth spurts. Now, what is a growth spurt, right? Uh, you were maybe this, you were this height, this short, but all of a sudden, you jumped up and had a growth spurt in your height or in your body. Suddenly your body begins to stretch, begins to grow. Uh, you know, your neck begins to grow. You become a man, you become a woman. That's a part of life. Physiologically, biologically, uh, that's what begins to happen to human beings. So they're called growth spurts. Now, I believe there's gonna be supernatural growth. What does that mean? There's gonna be a growth spurt in the glory because whenever the glory of God is present, there are growth spurts. Now, what is a growth spurt? It is a quantum leap. A quantum leap is a multiplicative exponential factor and effect. A quantum leap means that you begin to receive exponential return and exponential fruit. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. So I believe the Lord is releasing supernatural growth, even in this next one month. As you uproot, as the Lord plants and sows, come on somebody, number three, as the Lord begins to transplant, because God is transferring blessings into your bosom, into your family, your bank account, into your ministry, into your business, God is transplanting, come on, as different churches get shut down, those church people are going to come to your church, as different businesses get shut down, those clientele are going to come to your business, can I get an amen? And then number four, there's going to be supernatural growth, someone say life, remember the key scripture verse of today was Isaiah 11 verse 1, from this stump there will be a shoot. Now, it's called a shoot for a reason, because it shoots up, it sprouts up. Do you not perceive it? For it springs forth, for I am doing a new thing. Amen. So God is doing a new thing, my friends. And it's shooting forth, it's shooting up, it's happening suddenly, it's happening quickly. Now, I prophesy supernatural growth in your life. Whatever felt cut short like a stump, whatever felt cut Whatever felt sabotaged, whatever felt like the enemy tried to destroy in your life, that stump is going to manifest into the seven spirits of God, into a tree of perfection. And that stump is going to grow into something beautiful, for he makes all things beautiful in his time. And all of God's people say amen. Now, are you ready for the fifth point here? I believe in the next month. Number one, what did I say? There will be uprooting. 
Are you ready for God to uproot demonic seeds, strongholds, toxic friendships, unhealthy patterns, unhealthy thoughts, mindsets? The Lord is beginning to uproot. Number two, the Lord will plant and sow new seeds of life and new seeds of hope and destiny. Have you felt discouraged? Have you felt hopeless? Have you felt beaten up, beaten down? There's going to be new seeds of life, hope, love, and glory. Number three, there's going to be a transplant. Now, let me give you one more example on a transplant for number three. If you ever grow a plant, you understand you grow a plant and you keep it in a small pot. But as the plant begins to grow, you need to pull out that plant and put it in a bigger pot. Hear me now, friends. You need to put it in a bigger environment. Did you know the fish in the fish tank, the fish will only grow as big as the fish tank they're in. Oh, I'm about to preach here. The fish will only grow as big as the fish tank they are in. Therefore, scientists did a study. They took one species of fish and they put it in a small fish tank, small circle bowl fish tank, and they put that same fish in a bigger fish tank. Are you hearing me? The fish that was in a small fish tank, it only grew to a certain size, but the fish that was in the larger fish tank, come on somebody, it grew three times its size. Why so? It's the same fish. They're getting the same amount of food. Hear me now. It's because the environment is bigger. The room is bigger. When you have more room, you have more space to grow into. Can I get an amen? And same thing with a plant. When you plant uh, a, a seed or you plant a plant, you put it in a pot. But as it grows, you must transplant it into a larger pot. Are you receiving today? Someone say amen. And the Lord is saying, you have outgrown the last season. You have outgrown the last season. You have outgrown the last environment. You have outgrown those friends, that inner circle of those people. You have outgrown, you have surpassed, you have gone beyond those mentors, those fathers, those mothers. You have gone beyond. You have outgrown that last season. Therefore, I am about to transplant you into a bigger pot into a bigger tank. Do you receive this today? Amen. Number four, I prophesied about supernatural growth. From the stump, there will be seven spirits of God. And number five, my friends, there will be great fruit that will last. I believe right now we're in a season service. We're going to harvest in the last seasons, in the last months of five, seven, 83. Are you ready to harvest? Are you ready to gain? Are you ready to get back? Are you ready to come back? There's going to be such a harvest in this Rosh Hashanah season, in this last month. Come on, someone pray with me in the Holy Ghost. In this last month of 5783, as we are about to transition into 5784, in this last month, there's going to be great fruit that begins to manifest. Remember, he always saves the best for last. He always saves the best for last. Friends, do you hear me today? People are commenting that they don't hear me. Do you hear me today? If you hear me well, give me some hearts and likes or comment below, please. But I believe there's going to be fruit that lasts. John 15. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I chose you to bear great fruit. I chose you to bear fruit that will last. Are you ready to see the goodness of God in the land of the living? Are you ready to bear great fruit? Are you ready to bear glory fruit? Are you ready to bear fruit in the goodness and in the glory of God? Someone say amen. Now I want you to begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because those who feel like you are a stump, you're, you are in a financial stump. You are in a spiritual stump. You are in a spiritual Jesus you feel like the devil's cut short. You feel like the enemy. Thank you, Lord. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. You feel like the enemy has cut your life short. Sin that was creeping at the door. Discouragement, depression, oppression. 
Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody shout. Hallelujah. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you right now that every single person who feels like a stump, you feel like you've been cut short. You feel like the enemy has tried to cut your destiny, cut your lifeblood, your lifeline, the life stream. Fire of God. I thank you for life and abundance. I thank you for the break or anointing. Come on, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost with me. Uproot in Jesus' name. Uproot in the name of Jesus. There's an uprooting coming to your life. Jesus. An uprooting. It's coming to the church. It's coming to America. Jesus. Uproot. Come on, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. There's an uprooting in the name of Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! There's an uprooting of every wicked, evil, corrupt spirit and uprooting of evil, of every demonic, evil witchcraft seed and uprooting come out come out in jesus name there's an uprooting in the name of jesus fire of god there's an uprooting taking place hallelujah hallelujah and there's a new planting right now the lord is exposing the judas <laughs> He's exposing the Judas. He's exposing your haters. He is exposing. Come on, the stump will manifest and turn into a great tree. The seven spirits of God, the menorah of heaven, the seven branches of the Holy Ghost. Come on, heavy glory, heavy glory. In fact, until and unless these seeds are uprooted, do you know what these demonic seeds do? They literally stiffen the glory. They snuff out the fire. They choke out the life in the seeds. That's why you must uproot. Some of you are not breaking through because you still need deeper deliverance in your life. Amen. Some of you have not yet broken through because there's invisible demonic strongholds in your soul. Jesus. That's why there's an uprooting and uprooting. Some ministries, organizations don't grow because there's hidden witches in that church, in that ministry, in that covering. Ha ha. Rebe sete. But uprooting is coming. Deliverance is coming. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The stump will resurrect and turn into a great tree. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. Are you ready for a great life, great glory, new 
Come on, are you ready for the seven spirits of God? The finishing completed work of the Lord Jesus to come out from the stump. Do you feel stumpy? Do you feel like you've been cut short to be like a stump? If that's you, put your hand on your heart. Lord, I thank you right now. Touch your people. From the top of the head to the sole of their feet, I ask you, come upon them, Holy Spirit, right now. The fire of God, there it is. I feel deliverance happening. The fire of God. Sharabakia, right now. Come out! Fire of the Holy Ghost. Rebe sitting right now. In the name of Jesus. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Right now. I rebuke you. I bind you as a man of God. And I declare in your soul and in your body. Peace be still. Now. In Jesus' name. Haha. -ha, someone say amen. Now let it flow down. Let it go down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wow. Did you feel that right there? Did you receive that right there? My goodness. My goodness. The stump will resurrect. There will be new life in the stump. New life from the stump. New glory from the stump. New miracles, new wisdom, new revelation, new visions, new dreams from the stump. Someone say amen. Someone say hallelujah. Are you feeling like a stump? Are you feeling stumpy? Well, from the stump will come great fruit, great life, great glory. God's not done with you yet. Are you ready to shoot up and shoot forward? Are you ready to increase and prosper in the glory of God? If you're with me today, I want to say amen. And I prophesy the stump called Trump will increase again in Jesus' name. The stump that's called Trump. God is not done with this thing, with this one. Jesus. Did you receive today? Did you receive today? The stump called Trump, God is not done. For he is the one that is chosen and he has won. <laughs> Jesus. Now listen up friends, in this atmosphere, I want you to lift up your hands and thank and bless the Lord right now. Thank and bless the Lord, amen. Bless him in your own way, thank him in your own way. Why don't you praise him and give him thanks and praise and all the honor, all the glory. Because some of you are going to go from stumpy to harvest. Stumpy to increase. Stumpy to blessing. Amen. Now, friends, in this moment, I want you to obey the Lord. And I want you to ask God, what is a honorable response in this atmosphere and in this prophetic word. If you received, I want you to say amen. Now, I want you to ask the Lord what you must do, and I want you to sow a seed, amen. I want you to sow a seed, and I want you to consider, to consider blessing the Lord with a financial seed. Consider blessing this ministry. The workers deserving of the wages, and this ministry is an end times ministry and is a billion soul harvest ministry. And we are prophetic ministry, amen. So whatever you sow into, you will reap from and receive from. So I want you to sow a seed, praise God. And even as you sow, I want you to comment resurrection, amen. I want you to comment resurrection as you sow or even as you pledge. Praise God. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. Do not delay. This is a prophetic word. Your financial stump will increase. Amen. Your financial stump, your, the stump in your life will increase. It will manifest to seven. God's not done with you, friends. So even in the next month, uprooting, 
planting and sowing. My goodness. Transplant, supernatural growth, bear great fruit. I mean, my goodness. Amen. Sonia Green, thank you. Dana Elizabeth, bless you. Lindewe, bless you. As you sow, I want you to comment resurrection. Amen. Ruinda, bless you. Amen, Ladik, bless you. Catherine De Silva, bless you. Glory to God. Your stump will turn into seven branches in the next month. Hear these words, friends. Mark these words. You need to mark the word of the prophet. You need to mark the words of prophets. Amen. Shirley Key. Hello from Alberta. Bless you. Glory to God, Prophetess Ivana, Patricia Dawson, Pastor Sharon. Glory to God, Prosperity More. <sighs> Prophetess Alana. Glory to God. Sorry, what's not working, Melanie? Bless you, Catherine De Silva. Now, as you continue to sow, I want you to comment resurrection. Amen. Comment resurrection as you continue. So, Esther, God bless you. Hello from Seoul, Korea. Redlands, Cali. But I want to make note one more time, once again, tonight, literally in six hours now, I am doing a free Zoom webinar, a free Zoom webinar that is called Effective Spiritual Warfare. Thanks, Ann Tavrik. Effective Spiritual Warfare. It's going to be at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. I would love to see you. I'm going to, you know, we go deep into these topical subjects and we're going to go very deep tonight. And uh, usually each Zoom webinar is at least an, uh, two and a half to three hours. And just personal prayer, personal prophecy, personal ministry. So it's incredible, my friends, incredible. Keisha, bless you. Well, Miss Brenda, if there's an invitation, I would love to. I love Florida. Glory to God. Sheftani, bless you. Well, friends, bless you. Shalom, shalom. If you enjoyed this broadcast, receive from the man of God, from the servant of the Lord. I want to say amen. Consider sharing this broadcast. Uh, give this page a like, a follow, and even subscribe. In fact, uh, this Wednesday, uh, we are doing a personal prayer time of prophecy for our Facebook subscribers. And if you are a Facebook subscriber, which is like a monthly partner, then you will see that as if you are one of those subscribers. Amen. So bless your friends. Love you. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, X, uh, Discord, uh, Threads. Follow us everywhere. Bless you. Shalom. I'll see you tonight for our Effective Spiritual Warfare live Zoom webinar.